Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockreiner. Tuesday's story is some leaked malware and vulnerabilities. Over the weekend, researchers from the Malware Must Die blog posted details about a new leaked botnet creator. It's called Kins 2.0 or Zeus VM. And it's the tools you need to create a Trojan file as well as what they call the panel files or the backend HTML for the command and control portion of this particular botnet. Now, what hasn't leaked is the source code for the actual Trojan Trojan itself. Nonetheless, this tool is really all a script kitty needs to create his own botnet. Now, this particular tool set costs around $5,000 on the underground. And one of the big takeaways here is now that this particular uh, bot framework has leaked, that means some less sophisticated actors who don't have the finances can now start to use these tools to make their own botnets. So the community expects an increase in Zeus VM uh, botnets in the future. Now, the good news here is if you have watch guard devices or things like gateway antivirus or things like our APT blocker or other sandboxing technologies, they're pretty good at catching this class of botnet. Nonetheless, I'd really recommend checking out the Malware Must Die blog and of course the blog of the original French researcher that noticed this particular leak. Now besides that, I also wanted to share a quick update to yesterday's hacking team story. Today a number of pundits have been picking apart the files that have been leaked because of this breach and they stumbled upon some zero day of vulnerabilities. Specifically, CERT released an advisory warning about a zero-day use-after-free vulnerability in Adobe Flash that the hacking team apparently was sitting on to leverage for their clients. Now, there's no fix for this right now, but if you use Adobe Flash, you might want to be aware of this particular zero-day exploit. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.